Hi, my name is Chanel. Today I'm going to show you how I make my own dotted writing paper that I bind into journals. Sourcing writing paper is probably the biggest thing I dread in my bookbinding business. I have done endless uh, hours of research and I've encountered so many dead ends um, and lots of unreliable sources of paper. In order to source paper that is readily available and reasonably affordable, letter size paper, which is a similar equivalent to A4 size, is the easiest to buy and the easiest to print on. For bookbinding, paper grain needs to be parallel to the spine, so it means that the paper you're using needs to be short grain. I've never been able to find short grain letter size paper. The alternative is to use very large sheets of paper and then cut it down to the size you need so that um, you have the desired paper grain. I have journals that I made a couple years ago that I've used up and finished and um, the paper grain has not affected my experience using the book. The only thing that I've noticed is um, the text block doesn't look as clean. Moving forward, I'm going to cut down large sheets like I'm doing here to ensure paper grain is correct. I think that if you're making a personal project or just starting out with bookbinding, regular letter size paper with long grain that's good quality will work just fine. So making dotted paper is actually super easy. It's uh, sourcing the paper that is the most time consuming. So I'll show you what I look for when I'm sourcing paper, and then I'll show you how I print the dots on the paper. So this is my favorite paper to work with for bookbinding and journaling with fountain pens. It's the Mohawk Superfine letter sized, uh, smooth writing surface, and 28 pounds in weight, which is equivalent to 105 GSM. Office paper will not work because the whites are usually too bright, the weight of it is too light, and any kind of pen ink will very likely bleed through. Something you could look for is paper that has the word premium on it and is at least 24 or 28 pounds. Although premium is more of a marketing term, so you'll really have to try out the paper yourself. Paper weights in North America are very confusing, so let me break it down for you. The weight of the Mohawk Superfine paper is 28 pound writing. Writing, also known as bond, refers to the basis manufactured size of the paper. The basis size of writing or bond paper is 17 by 22 inches. 28 pound refers to the weight of a standard ream of 500 sheets. So one ream of writing paper is 28 pounds. This is where it gets complicated. 28 pound writing is also equivalent to 70 pound text. The basis size of text paper is 25 by 38 inches, much bigger than writing. So one ream of text paper is 70 pounds. That's why 28 pound writing is equal to 70 pound text. When I'm shopping for paper, I notice that typically either one is labeled, rarely both. Now converting to the metric system, the equivalent to 28 pound writing and 70 pound text is 105 GSM, or grams per square meter. Japanese papers like Tomoe River and Cosmo Air are produced in 52, 68, and 75 GSM weights and are excellent for fountain pens. But unfortunately, the paper grain is long and isn't ideal for bookbinding. Since my options are limited to North American distributors, my preferred paper weights for journals are 24 pound writing, 60 pound text, 90 GSM. 28 pound writing, 70 pound text, 105 GSM. There are multiple websites that help produce graph paper. I use incompetech.com slash graph paper. Customize the dot size, spacing, dot color, and paper size, and download a PDF with no watermark. This is a black and white laser printer by Brother. Any model will do. Brother printers have been the most reliable in my experience. The key is to always get the good toner from the original brand, even though they're more expensive than the alternatives. The quality is worth it. I prefer to manually print double-sided rather than use its automatic feature. 
I have these pens that I'm going to test out on these papers. This is the Mohawk Superfine and this is an unknown paper. It feels like a smooth 24 or 28 pound paper. For testing, I use a variety of pens to check for feathering, whether the edges of my lines get fuzzy from absorption, ghosting, whether you can see the marks on the other side, bleed through, and overall enjoyment of writing on the paper. There's no consensus on which writing paper is the best, so just find something that you like. Something you can try is loose leaf sketch paper. They are usually really affordable. This is a 70 pound sketch paper by Saks and there's a distinct smooth side and a rougher side which is not ideal um, but I think the um, pens look pretty good on this paper. Make sure you test on one sheet or a couple sheets before you commit to printing a full journal because I've made plenty of mistakes where I have misprinted. I hope that was helpful for you to make your own dotted journals. Let me know your experience or your advice in the comments below and follow me for more bookbinding content. See you later!